Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the Lone Wolf Bushcraft YouTube channel. I'm your host, JR. I was in Walmart today and I picked up these two items. Both of them are stainless steel items. The first one there is a stainless steel 18 ounce cup by Ozark Trail. And then the second item, 1.2 liter stainless steel kettle, also by Ozark Trail. I have to put the, both these through their paces, and of course, when I do, I'll uh, I'll make sure to do an update video on these items. So I'm pretty excited. Always, uh, I actually was looking for a kettle, so I have a feeling that's going. This right here is rubber. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. So yeah, I'm gonna. Anyways, I was looking for a stainless steel kettle and I'm pretty excited about putting this stainless steel kettle through the paces. So, and also you can lock the handle here, so that's pretty nice. It's got a handle that you can lock. Yeah, so that handle's not gonna go anywhere. Anyways, I'm really excited about um, either using them on a day hike or even using them when I go camping. And like I said, I was looking for a uh, stainless steel kettle. And I couldn't beat the price of uh, both items. And uh, like I said, I came across some when I was at Walmart today. The uh, 18 ounce stainless steel cup was $4.97. And the, uh, the Kelly kettle, or the Kelly kettle, the Ozark Trail kettle. <laughs> yeah, let's not get that confused. Yeah, that's the stainless steel kettle by uh, Ozark Trail. Anyways, this stainless steel kettle was uh, $6.46. So yeah, $4.97 for the 18 ounce stainless steel cup. And then for the stainless steel kettle, $6.46. So yeah, I couldn't beat the price. And yes, there's other items out there that are more expensive. Um, but yeah, I want to do, whenever I do different gear items, some of my gear items will be expensive and then some of them will be uh, not expensive. But these still look really well made, even though it's not as expensive as some of the other stainless steel items you get. So both items, let me show you. And let me see if I can get that. Do, 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 do. Stainless steel china, so made in China. And this one, yep, made in China. So anyways, I'm gonna put both these items through their paces. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So definitely there'll be an update video about both these items. Also when I, like I said, they'll be pressed into day hiking and also pressed into camping. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. Um, of course, the main thing that excited me is I found these items at a really good price. So, and it'll be interesting to compare them to the more expensive items out there. Like some of the expensive items I buy are from like Solo Stove. So it'll be neat to compare some of those items. Like uh, one uh, one item, I'm, or actually there's a couple items I'm saving for. One of them's the Solo Stove Light, and the other one is the 900 pot that uh, goes usually pairs pretty nice with the Solo Stove. So, and I'm sure I'll set some of these on the uh, different Solo Stoves as well. I do have a Solo Stove Campfire, and I also have a Solo Stove Bonfire. And I've been uh, pretty pleased with both of those. But yeah, lately I've been seeing a lot of uh, YouTube videos out there. How to uh, buy items at uh, not very expensive pace, you know, prices. So you can get out there and start camping or bushcrafting. You really can find uh, decent items at a fair price. And that way you can get out sooner to both camp and bushcraft. And uh, yeah, if you really want to get out and camp and bushcraft, or sometimes it's better to buy a, a 
a little bit uh, cheaper items to make sure you really like getting out in the woods and going camping and bushcrafting. Uh, I definitely like getting out in the woods camping and bushcrafting, but let's say someone's on the fence and not really sure about it. Uh, buying items that don't uh, cost a whole lot can also get you out there quicker and also see if you really like getting out into the woods. So, uh, yeah, once I finish putting these through their paces, I'll definitely make you guys and gals out there an update video. And I like the one saying of the uh, coal cracker bushcraft. Yeah, I believe it's called coal cracker bushcraft, the YouTube channel on there. He said, if you're not having fun in the woods, then you're doing it wrong. So I like that. So anyways, I'm gonna close out this video here. You guys and gals are awesome. Uh, thanks for those of you who have subscribed and uh, for those of you who have come across this for the first time and you do like the content of the Lone Wolf Bushcraft YouTube channel, please like and subscribe. And this is your boy JR signing off and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, take care. Peace. Later, bye, take care. Bye.